Today marks 46 years since the deadliest flash flood in Colorado history. The big Thompson Canyon flood that hit near the town of Drink in Larimer County. Even today, this is the same area we have been seeing flash floods just in the past few weeks. In a matter of hours, July 31st, 1976, a 20-foot wall of water swept through the canyon, completely flooding the town and killing 144 people. Five people were never found. Denver 7's Colette Bordelon spoke with the survivors of the flood about the past, and the present. Years pass by as fast as the water rushes through Big Thompson Canyon. I can still feel the earth shaking. But for Barbara Anderson and her daughter Tina, the smell I can still smell today. July 31st, 1976 feels like it was only yesterday. It'll always be part of our lives. My visual of a war of a war zone. The two survived one of the deadliest flash floods in Colorado's history and remember those they lost, more than 140 people. Did you see these really pretty orange flowers? At a memorial in the mountains where all of their names are listed. I lost my best friend, Teresa. She was 10. Her mom was instrumental in making this memorial a reality. It's a place for people to come and heal. And all of the bricks at the memorial, they were bought by donors, most of them survivors or people who lost family and friends in the flood. That money spent on the bricks built this memorial and any excess money goes to scholarships of people who had relatives lost in the flood. I saw a 25 foot wall of water coming towards us. That's going to be my very last breath on this earth. Deborah Watts looking at pictures from the day she thought would be her last, a day where she was cut badly but a day where one question haunts her more than any scar. Where are the kids? And I said, Aaron's gone, the three and a half year old. I said, I know he was washed away. Her son wouldn't be found for weeks, but his name is one of those kept alive by the community. If you can't remember the past, the, the future isn't got much for you. Because no matter how many years pass, what the flood couldn't take from the survivors remains. It is amazing what a disaster will do, and it did bring people together. And that is what this memorial does. It brings people together. Colette Bordelon, Denver 7. Digging a little deeper, the people living in this town had little to no warning as the floods came their way. According to the National Weather Service, the storm front stalled over a central portion of the Big Thompson River watershed around 6.30 p.m. A flash flood warning was not issued until 11 p.m. A government report blamed ground observers not answering phone calls and some other issues because phone service was knocked out in this area. Now we have more coverage of the floods and a complete timeline on our website, thedenverchannel.com.